everybody welcome back to another guide video this video has become one of my more often requested videos uh, but I saved it to the last because I don't have a whole lot of good luck with the green sunfish all right so that's our last fish on Golden Ridge Reserve to do a guide content for and I don't even know I don't even know I call these hot spots more at more like lukewarm spots for the diamond sunfish I haven't had luck at them but uh, we'll get into that here in a second. First, you know, as far as the weight goes, one pound is what we're getting in gold. Diamonds are going to be a little bit bigger. Bloodworm is what I catch most of my sunfish on. Uh, they are daytime fish, so keep that in mind. Um, remember, if you want to look at their bait and lure preferences, go to your handbook and then press tab, and you'll see more the more options there. But that's what you're going to want to do for the sunfish. And honestly, if they're not biting on the bloodworm. Try a bunch of other stuff. Try every single lure and bait they have and their preferences. <laughs> Try different depths. That's really just kind of how, how I do it, how I test things. Uh, but we'll go to the map here and we'll start with the gold locations. I see actually quite a few gold green sunfish pulled out of here. And then I pulled one out of here and I've seen a couple people pull them out of down here. I got one while going for Larry um, when he was in rotation last. So that was kind of fun. Uh, but as far as diamond locations, uh, I've, I've done research on it. I've looked through my Discord, the trophy shots in my Discord, the trophy shots in other streamers' Discords. Um, went through the official Discord, see where people are catching theirs. And it seems like the dam is a spot where people have caught them. And up here. But it's not a whole lot. I don't see a whole lot of that. I talked to some of... Um, my crew, Doan, you know, everybody, uh, Crow, all those guys, CJO. And um, as far as the diamond green sunfish goes, they don't really, <laughs> they don't really see any other spots other than here and here as well for those big green sunfish. So if you have a spot and you know, you know where a tried and true diamond spot is, please let me <laughs> know because we've been, we've been looking for that. So uh, leave that in the comments if you do have a really good diamond green sunfish spot. I know, I think I caught a gold sunfish over here too. Gold green sunfish over here as well. But um, that's really it. And again, you know, these are just guides. You know, these aren't step-by-step -step instructional tutorials. This isn't every single bit of information you need to know uh, for the sunfish. I mean, I almost even forgot the hook sizes. But... <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those days. Um, all right, let me cover the hook sizes real quick. Uh, I use a size 8 for sunfish. Uh, it gets silvers and golds. Um, so if silvers are buying in a size 8, you can imagine possibly a size 7. Could maybe be, you know, bigger silvers and golds or just golds only potentially. And then if you follow the hook logic that way, you know, a size 6 will probably be big golds and diamonds maybe. So... I would say if you want to isolate just golds and diamonds, a size 7 and a size 6 hook are probably going to be your best bets. Um, that's that's what I would say for the green sunfish. But um, that's pretty much all I got on them. Again, if you have any com if you have any questions, put them in the comments. Uh, that was helpful. I know it wasn't a whole lot of info. and Do my best, but that's why I saved this one for last. Um leave a like if you want to see more guide content i am going to be making more guide content coming up i'm going to finish all the fish on the norway reserve too that's really uh really all i got here um other than that i appreciate it and uh i'll see you in the next one no i'll catch you in the next one that see one of those